Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a really quick tip showing you how to speed up your Power Automate flows. And this video is gonna be specific to the apply to each control. So what we have here is essentially a flow that moves records from one SharePoint list to another. So in this get item step, we have a list called starting list. Now this just contains kind of 10,000 dummy records um, that we're gonna be moving. And then we're saying for every record found, so for every one of the 10,000 records here, we're going to create that item in the end list. So anyone that's worked with this type of flow before knows that this can be pretty slow. Um, and the reason for that is that by default, the apply to each control is sequential. So it's going from one record, then the next, then the next. So before we move on, I can show you the first run of this flow. Uh, so if we take a look at the run history, um, its first successful run took one hour and two minutes and six seconds to run. Um, so essentially an hour and two minutes and six seconds to move those 10,000 records from one list to another. And again, this is just test data in a simple flow with no other steps. So depending on your project, this could take much longer. So if we wanna speed this up significantly, we can go to edit flow um, and we can come to the apply to each control and we can click the three dots over here and then click settings. Once we're in settings, we can see that one of the only options is this concurrency control. By default, this is off, but if we turn it on, we can see that the degree of parallelism is set by default to 20. Um, this is something that we can actually change. We can go all the way down to one, all the way up to 50. So essentially what this is telling the apply to each control is that instead of going sequential, um, it can run up to this number at once. So if we set it to 50, it can be running 50 at once, which obviously is gonna give us very much improved speeds on our flow. Um, and for the most part, this is something that you can turn on. There's a couple situations where you might not wanna turn this on. One of those being is that if actions below this apply to each control require its results to be sequential, um, you no longer have control over that once we turn this on. And another one being is that if your data source cannot handle concurrency. But for the most part, if you're working with SQL and SharePoint, you should be good. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is click done. And now again, so we've changed this essentially to say, get all of the items from this list. And then for each item, create this item in the end list. Instead of doing this sequentially, we can run this 50 times at once. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is we're going to test this flow and let it run. And I will catch you back when it finishes so we can look at the results. So I let this flow run for a while and we can see now that the same flow that took an hour and two minutes has now only taken 22 minutes. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Thank you so much for checking this out. Um, please let me know if you have any questions about this or what you'd like to see in the future. Um, with that, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video.